what's going on everybody it's your boy here to give you guys a review for love and hip hop uh i'll about to say hollywood new york okay uh two things one please excuse the hair like i said this is me after work it is what it is i'm a working man so there it is and also i'm a sensi man throwing that on there too so like i said if you guys like sensi if you guys like you know uh diffusers you know wax uh, melters and all that other good jazz Please support your boy. I have a party link down below. Go ahead, click on that. Don't forget, this is, you know, I buy back my bars uh, month. And uh, pretty much what that is, is you guys get to go and um, buy those bars that, you know, since he have taken away. And this is available until Sunday. All right, so this ends Sunday. All right, so, so I'll let you guys know that and i think that is all for the church announcements is that it yeah that's it all right so let's go ahead and get into this review before i, I do the review i do want to say that i am not going to talk about tyra amina and peter all right so ra rose and uh talia coles i forgot to mention this if you guys don't remember her she was on previous seasons with jim jones and chrissy and I believe she was uh, consulting with him with the, uh, I think the uh, jacket line. No, I think she was consulting with Chrissy with the uh, jacket line. We saw her last episode, I believe. And, um, you know, Tyler pretty much told her in reference to the whole thing with Lexi, you should have told her when you met with her and asked her to be in your show about old girl. Then they rehash everything. Moving on, Remy and Papoose. Uh, Pap wants to uh, talk about the guest list and her whole thing is, you know, she's iffy about her mom. I'm sorry, his mom, because she didn't visit uh, her while she was in prison. And at the same exact time, both her family and his family, you know, started to treat her differently. And, you know, like almost started hating her. So Pap is willing to work out the kinks of the relationship. Now you got Remy. She's working with Mo. She plays her the same exact track that she was going to give B. That's that. That's that fuck shit. And Yandy is trying to help Mo get a deal. But last that I checked, didn't she and Rich have a motherfucking record label? See, inconsistencies in these motherfucking storylines. Come on, Mo, to do better, bitch. And um, there's another Gwenning Fest. And apparently, I guess um, Yandy is wanting to put her two prospects being more against each other. Again, that is that fuck shit. Uh, Lexi and Mo, they meet up. Uh, Lexi wants to talk to her about Rob. They begin to, I guess, kind of go back and forth about their internal issues. Don't really give a fuck about that. Uh, then um, the fashion show was brought up. Mo says that uh, she's with Yandy. She's going to be at Gwinnin Fest. And, uh, yeah, she's working on records. And, you know, Lexi feels some kind of way about that. Like, okay, so we just broke up. You got something, but I ain't got shit. And, you know, uh, Lexi felt like, oh, she and Mo's going to get on stage for this wedding fest. Mo looking at her like, uh, bitch, bye. And, uh, but before that, she when she talked about Mariah Lynn, she was like, yeah, bring a dust because I'm going to have to dust that bitch. You already had the opportunity. You feel I'm going to have to ask you to stop talking big shit. You got Mariah, uh, Cardi, and, um, you know, Bianca, Young B. They're rehashing everything, and they're at a, 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 a glass blowing class. Mm-hmm. Um, Mariah says she's a uh, Puerto Rican. She got Puerto Rican in her blood. And then, <laughs> I, I'm sorry, I, I'm trying to be nice tonight. So then the whole beef thing comes up, and you know, uh, Bianca got beef with Mo, and <clears throat> you know, uh, Mariah whole thing is she don't like neither one of the bomb bitches, but you know, I got I got something for Mo and shit. If you get tired, we can tag team. You ain't a real bitch. You don't need nobody to tag team about nothing. Cardi whole thing is bitch. If y'all ain't finna swing, shut the fuck up. Stop talking. Ron Lexi meet up. Lexi wants to uh, wants her to get shit done. Point blank at a period. <clears throat> and Roz like she's gonna put her in a studio session. And you know, once and, she, and the cipher also got brought up, so she's gonna see what she can do about that. Let me see who else we got. Uh, Papoose, Self, and Rich. I guess this creep, la, 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 creep squad 2.0. They're together and they're all rehashing their motherfucking issues. Don't care, move the fuck on. Um, Ryan Lexi, so they got Fresh Montana in the studio to listen to her shit. Okay. 
I mean, I would say that's the best you can do, but I mean, at least it's it's better than fucking nothing. I mean, cause Yandy ain't got you know Mo in the studio with no motherfucking body, so okay, I give her that. And um, she wants her to not only play the song but perform the song. And you know, Lexi feels some kind of way like, oh, I never did this. Bitch, shut the fuck up and just stand there. It ain't like your ass got to sing. It ain't like you got to give two motherfucking vocals. All you gotta do is just sit there and repeat the same exact shit you already fucking recorded. Stop playing. Stop playing. And French is willing to work with her, so it is what it is. So Remy and Papoose meet with my dukes, aka Miss uh, Irene. That's Papoose's mother. I'm calling my dukes. Remy whole thing is she thought that with everything that was going on, that she thought that uh, my dukes was telling Papoose, you know what? Pretty much like leave Remy alone because you're giving too much to her. Like leave her alone. And my dukes is like, no, I want. I I was all about him being there for you. I didn't want him to stifle himself. And his career because he was giving so much to you and wasn't reserving anything for himself. I'm like, okay, I can get that. But at the end of the day, I, I already knew this was a misunderstanding. And you can see that, you know, Remy is trying to clean up her image on uh, Love and Hip Hop. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you know, she's giving us a little bit, but not giving us a whole lot. And you know what? Go ahead. Milk Mona for this motherfucking wedding boo. Um, and my, my dude's pretty much told her, uh, boo boo, I don't do jail. So you got Yandy and Mo Day in the studio. Uh, young B walk in with Cardi and straight up went in like she like you know like she the man in the relationship like why she in this session <laughs> why you playing her the song that you gave me I'm sitting there like damn and you got um, Mo just like you know don't get embarrassed again she looking like bitch when the fuck I got embarrassed the first motherfucking time and then commences to ask you in again she like do you pay my bills she like it's about money and it's one of those ways she's like again you the same motherfucking person and told Rich, if it wasn't last season, the season I think it was the season before, that you don't want to deal with mess. You want to make your money, but don't want to deal with mess. But you are ushering in and bringing in the mess because you're talking about healthy competition. But you didn't take you. Mo knew about Bianca. Bianca didn't know about Mo. Mess. And then when these two starts to go back and forth in her confessional, because I, I let me back up. I'm gonna just spend a little bit of time with this because shit, we pretty much let me put that shit down. We pretty much done. Bianca's whole thing is, you got me doing all this shit. You got me going to motherfucking etiquette classes and shit. And all the fuck for what? But you gonna work with this bitch right here. You feel me? Like, that was her whole thing. And then these two, when I said these two, Bianca and Mo, start going at it. And then you have Yandy, her confessional, talking shit on Bianca. Like, I sent you to etiquette class. Yah, yah, blah, blah, rah, rah, this, that, and her. I wasn't feeling that. And if you ask me why, it's because... You like it's she's purposely coming down on Bianca and not Mo. And I didn't like that. And if I didn't say both Mo and Lexi songs, they both were nice. Of course, Mo has a harder, you know, flow and hit than uh Lexi, but I would still have to hit both, you know, songs in their entirety. But it's better than that. Da, 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 but she doesn't do the issues, but she did niggas. No. I will get to confess you guys, I did buy Mariah Lynn's song, okay? Once upon a time, not long ago, I was a hoe. Guilty confession, I bought it. She, she got me a little coin. Because it's a catchy ass song, and y'all know I did the review and shit on sketchy as fuck. But uh, that's pretty much what happened. Cardi, the whole thing is, again, bitches, if y'all not finna scrap, stop playing. Because, you know, I really don't want to get involved. But, you know, she want to bust a bitch in the head. You know, a drink get thrown. And that's pretty much it. And the thing is, they are restraining Bianca. And when Mo realized, because she was talking to Mo shit, but when she realized that they got her and pulled her away, now she want to try to get bugged the fuck out of here. That's all the fuck I got. That is my review for Love and Hip Hop. I didn't get it early, y'all, but at the same time, y'all know a motherfucker working. I told y'all Jerry's a rough month, but you get it now. This is a quickie. Rate, comment, subscribe, and share. And check out Sensi. Help a brother out. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Stand fast because I'm going to give you guys uh, Stevie J and Johnson do New York. And that's going to be a super quickie. How you doing?